Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a giant mixture of a haul. I have a bunch of Bath & Body Works candles for fall that I'm going to show you guys. I have about nine or ten of them. I have my Ipsy bag and I popped into Sephora for a small purchase and then I ordered some online. So we'll first get started with Bath & Body Works candles. I purchased a lot of my favorites on top of some new ones that came out this year. Of course, I purchased a leaves. If you guys have not smelled this or have purchased it, I'm pretty sure everyone and their mother has tried leaves. It is the perfect quintessential fall scent. This candle says, celebrate the brilliant colors of autumn with this rich blend of golden nectar, red apple, and spiced berries. This is just amazing. It fills up your whole house with the scent. I'm going to make sure to just start doing my candle reviews for the ones that you can still purchase right now that I am currently burning. So look out for those like I used to do when I first started. So I did get two of the leaves candles. I picked out, this is the first time I actually bought this, but this is a re-promote. This is Sweater Weather from Bath & Body Works. This one isn't typically the type of scents that I do purchase. This is much more of a musky, cologne kind of scent. Kind of reminds me a little bit of mahogany teak wood, but different. This is invigorating blend of aromatic eucalyptus, juniper berry, and fresh sage. is a crisp as fall air. This is almost, to me, like the transition in between Thanksgiving and Christmas. This is the perfect like Thanksgiving candle in my opinion, so I'm happy to have that. Then a couple other ones that I've purchased before. This is Marshmallow Fireside. You might have seen this in the empties. I think I finished one of these in July. Me and my husband love Marshmallow Fireside and the packaging is just gorgeous. This is celebrate the season with a warm blend of toasted marshmallows smoldering woods and creamy vanilla reminiscent of cozy evening round the bonfire. This is just a really great marshmallow but it has that smoky fire scent with it but it's not overpowering sweet or fire so it's a great mixture between like a sweet scent and then more of like the musky fire woodsy kind of scent. So I did purchase two of those as well. So a couple other candles that may not be re-promotes or they might. I got picked up one of these. It looks like old packaging, but this is the White Barn Farmstead Apple. It smells straight up like a red delicious apple. It says, a sparkling orchard favorite reminiscent of a sunny day picking apples with friends. Notes of Macintosh apple, pear blossom, and oak. So yeah, this is straight up apple, nothing else, but it's a really great scent. I don't know how it burns though, so I am planning on doing a candle review of that. One that reminds me a lot of, I can't remember, Harvest Gathering, or one of the pumpkin ones from last year. This is pumpkin pie. I purchased two of them because I love this scent. It is the best pumpkin scent ever. It smells so good. It is... A blend of creamy pumpkin, whipped vanilla, flaky pie crust that is as sweet as your favorite pumpkin pie. Smells so good. I love the bakery pumpkin scents and the packaging is so cute with the bottle cap like it was before for like their spring collection that I got. So I did purchase two of the pumpkin pies. So good. Try this out. Probably my favorite pumpkin scent from them. The next one is Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow. Looks like this. And this is Sweetness of Vanilla combines with a mouth-watering cloud of pumpkin marshmallow. So this one is way more vanilla marshmallowy than the Marshmallow Fireside, but you get that hint of pumpkin. I would say the vanilla outweighs the pumpkin a cold sniff on this, but we'll see how it burns. And then my last candle here is pumpkin apple. This one I just kind of threw in there. We'll see how it burns. It is your two favorite fall scents, apple and pumpkin, enhanced with notes of cinnamon and clove. So it smells pretty good. Actually, you smell a lot more of the apple. Um, there's a very faint scent of pumpkin, but not 
too overwhelming. So this is another, I would say, an apple scent over pumpkin. So we'll see how that burns. And those are the candles so far I've picked up for fall. It is basically fall time in my house, so I'm so excited. So then let's start next with Ipsy. A little late on this game. Okay. So this is a prep school theme. This is a little tacky in my opinion. It has like the houndstooth printing on it and it's really plasticky so I won't re-buy that. But So the first thing I have here is the Mark Anthony True Professional Nourishing Argan Oil of Morocco. This says apply one to three drops depending on hair length and thickness to damp or dry hair and distribute evenly from roots to ends. Do not rinse out. Style as usual. So I love trying out hair products. That's my favorite thing right now. Let's see what this smells like. It doesn't, it has just a nice scent, nothing too overpowering. We'll see how it goes on my hair. But again, this is the Mark Anthony Argan Oil for hair. This next thing I have is from Trust Fund Beauty. And excuse my nails, by the way. I'm pretty sure this is a nail polish. Um, let's see. It's a vegan and cruelty-free brand. And yep, it's a nail polish. So this is the color Elegantly Wasted. Looks like that. And then there is Elegantly Wasted. This is a light purple lilac-y kind of color. So that's nice. Something more springy in my opinion than going into fall, but it is nice to have. This next thing is a waterproof eyeliner from Douce Cosmetics in the color 500. Oh, this is super creamy. Looks like that. So it's really nice, super creamy. Reminds me um, with the Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliners. So that's pretty cool. I'll definitely try that out. The next thing is Hikari. I have tried a bunch of Hikari stuff before and this is a lip gloss in Merlot. Let's see. Ooh, it's like a dark wine kind of color. Cranberry wine. That is a great color for the fall. Let's see how it swatches. It doesn't have that great of a scent, but it is pretty pigmented. So it looks like that. That is a really gorgeous color for the fall. We'll see how it stays on my lips or if it's tacky, all that kind of stuff. And then the last thing I have here is a brush. Love my brushes from Etsy. This is a Marsk, M-A-R-S-K brush. Ah, if I can open this thing. Okay. So, it feels nice. It almost feels more like a paintbrush, though, but... Oh, unless it's upside down. There we go. So, that's the eye brush. Pretty excited about that. So, that is my Ipsy bag. I do like a couple of these products for the fall. They're really great. I don't know why this color came. I would have picked a different color, personally. But, so that's what I got from Ipsy. Now, to move on to Sephora. In the store, I had... I got the Lash Stash a couple months ago, so I've been trying it out. And the one I picked up was the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And so I got a full size of that. I haven't busted this baby out since I do have a lot more mascaras than I am currently working on. So that will be there when I run out. Uh, the next thing I got is the Makeup Eraser, the original Makeup Eraser. And I'm definitely going to film tonight me... Well, not tonight, but I'll definitely post next week a full review and demo on this and if it's a hot or not product. Um, so yeah, that's the makeup eraser. And then the other thing I picked up at the store is a YSL Rouge Volup Shine in the color number two, which is like purple or purple, however they phrase that, um, volatile. This is a gorgeous fall color lipstick. So that's what that YSL looks like right there. I really love the berry kind of colors for fall and this is gorgeous. Look at the packaging. Ah, so pretty. So happy I got it. 
So what just came in the mail today is my Sephora pack purchase. I needed some hair products and I wanted to try something from Sephora. So let's see. I'm just going to pull out what is in here. The first thing I have is a Tom Ford Nor Pour Femi little sample. Looks like that. The next thing I have is Kate Spade Live Color Fully. This looks like this is a little fragrance sample. Then I got Marc Jacobs Daisy little fragrance sample. They loaded me up with samples. The next thing is the Cartier La Panther sample. I'm not sure. Looks like that. And then I got a Josie Moran Argan Enlightenment Illuminizer. Looks like that. Then I got Murad Better Every Day Salicylic Acid. I think this was like a 100 point perk. I'm not sure. But this is an acne clearing solution sample. And then I did redeem my 500 part, point perk for the Murad package. This is the perfectly ageless skin renewing set. This comes with the in the Visibler Perfecting Shield, a, the Cleansing Tone AHA BHA Exfoliating Cleanser, and the Renewing Eye Cream, and the Hydrodynamic Ultra Moisture. So this was the 500 point perk. I do plan on doing reviews or at least empties on this. So the next thing that I purchased, the first thing I got was a Makeup Forever. This was the brush 140 wavy so I wanted to get a brush like this for highlighting it's a really small highlighting brush but I wanted to try it out there were good views but I wanted to just have it to highlight my face down the nose you know keep its row I just wanted a brush that was a big blending brush but was perfect for highlighting the next thing I have here is the Restore Mask Treatment. This is for Strand Healing Weightless Repair. So this is a hair mask. Looks like that. That smells pretty good. You leave it in for five minutes, rinse through it, and you can use it one to two times a week. I definitely thought this was going to be way bigger. Um, kind of pricey not gonna lie so don't know if I would repurchase that even if it has amazing results kind of disappointed in how small that is to be honest and this next thing is from milk milker um, this is a what is this again leave-in treatment you apply it evenly all over damp or dry hair so this is yeah, a leave-in treatment. So we'll see how this is. I just wanted to try a couple hair products. This is a pretty sturdy bottle, but I want to try a couple hair products. Probably after knowing how much I spent on these and how small these products are, I will probably go back to sticking with Drugstore over this. This was a nice little splurge for myself, but these are teeny. So we'll see. I'll actually see how this goes, but this is so small. So I hope you guys enjoyed my haul, a mixture of candles, Etsy, Sephora, the hair, makeup, that kind of stuff. And I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.